Madeline Smith, and I'm a six-year member of the Franklin County Fashion Board. My name's Ivy, and I'm a fifth-year member of the Franklin County Fashion Board. My name is Lincoln Smith, and this is my twin, Lola. All right, so the twins are here to help us teach you guys how to measure for the So Fun project. So we have a boy and a girl. It's great. Um, so the first thing we're going to measure is their height. All right, so when you're doing this, it's very important that you stand completely okay. relaxed and natural. And we're going to measure. Chin up. Good job. There you go. Now when you're measuring, it's best to have someone else measure for you. Lincoln, you are three feet, eight inches. All right, so these are the measurements that you'll find on the back of your pattern, and it's very important that you select the correct size so you have a finished garment that fits you. So the first thing we're gonna do is measure their chest around the fullest part. Arms up. Just for a second. And out, or out to the side. Okay, good job. Make sure the tape measure is completely parallel to the floor. Put your arms down, relax. There you go. So then you want to write down your measurements. measurements as you go. All right, so the next thing is the natural waist, and this would be just above where your belly button is. So think about where you would wear your high-waisted jeans um, or something similar to that, where a, the middle of a dress might fit. Very important part of um, taking this measurement is that the person needs to be breathing. Yes, naturally. So do not suck it in when you take this measurement or your garment will not fit otherwise. There you go. With kids or um, younger so, whereas you might have to take this measurement a couple times throughout the process to make sure you get it correct. All right, so next we're going to measure around the fullest part of their hips or like their seat. So, turn to the side. So, right about there. And again, make sure the tape measure is completely parallel to the floor. The next thing we're going to measure is the crotch measurement. So for that, you're going to have your model sit down in a chair sideways. And you are going to measure from their natural waist, sit up nice and straight, to the chair. That's their crotch measurement. You're going to measure the back length. So a lot of the times, if you're making a dress, it'll ask for this measurement. Yes. So you want to find there's a bow right there on the back of your neck. There you go. Now you can see it. So that's where you want to start the measurement. Okay, Lola, now you can look up. Perfect. And then you measure from there to her natural waist, right where you took that first measure. Ready? So there we go. All right, well, have fun sewing, everybody. And thank you for watching. Bye.